Can you hear me now, Liz? Can you guys hear me? Just want to make sure you can hear me all right. All right, great. Liz can hear me. All right, I was talking to myself. Dale, you can hear me. Megan, can you hear me now? Yay, okay, great. All right, guys. Hey, hey, everyone. Thanks for joining. I was just saying, um, I would love for you all to introduce uh, your pets tonight in the comments. Uh, I would love to hear from you what your dog's name is, uh, how old they are, what breed they are, uh, how long you've had them. Uh, this here is Zeke. <laughs> He's very sleepy right now. This is Zeke. He's my 11-year-old golden doodle. I got him when he was three years old and he was actually a rescue. Um, he came to me from an abusive family and so he, um, he's come a long way. He's a very anxious dog. When I first got him for the first six months, my friends didn't even know he had a tail because it was tucked between his legs um, for so long. And he was just a very, very fearful dog. And we've worked really, really hard on that. And CBD has been instrumental in, in our journey. But he's such a sweet boy. And you'll see him throughout my presentation this evening about pets and CBD. Um, all right. I'm gonna try to look at comments tonight. Um, let's see, I've got multiple screens up, so it's gonna be a little bit challenging. Let me just get situated here. All right, there we go. I've got comments on my phone. All right, Liz has got Penny, a year and a half golden retriever, and Bentley, an 11 year old chihuahua. What kind of pets do you all have, everyone who's joining? All right, I'm going to get started. All right, guys. Well, thank you everyone for joining tonight. Um, Carrie, thanks for being here with your two beagles, Axel and Brutus. Um, Debbie, a year and a half black lab. Um, awesome. We'll be giving you guys a $5 off coupon at the end of this. So stay to the end to watch and um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hop in. So um, let's see. So today I'm going to talk about first how you can win our giveaway today, um, then talk about my story uh, with my dog Zeke. I'm going to talk more about the endocannabinoid system and what it is and what it does. I'm going to talk about pet versus human CBD um, and then talk about some pet stories of real customers, real stories, real pets um, that take our products. Talk a little bit about the research. Um, how to introduce your dog to CBD, dosing 101, how to talk to your vet about CBD, and ident how to identify a high quality CBD product. So let's get started. All right, so first off, to win the giveaway, you need to engage. So that means we want you commenting uh, it, down below the video, um, basically throughout. I would love to see your questions. I'm happy to answer any questions. And here's how it will work. The last person to leave a comment when the winner slide comes up, so there's hidden slides throughout my presentation, there will be three winner slides. And when the winner slide comes up, the last person I see who has commented will win the prize. Um, all three winners will get two bags of our CBD treats, both the peanut butter and the bacon cheddar, as well as a CBD oil of their choice, a dog CBD oil of their choice. So uh, keep the comments coming in guys, ask questions throughout. I'm paying attention. I'm glad you're all here. It's so good to see you all tonight. Um, and I'm happy to talk to you all about pets and CBD. 
So as I said, I don't know if you guys could hear me earlier, but this is my dog, Zeke. He's an 11-year-old golden doodle who's a rescue. Um, he had severe anxiety when I first got him. He had come from an abusive family. Um, so he was shaking constantly, so scared if anyone came over. Um, and that was really why I originally started giving him CBD. He was also a very vocal dog. We live in downtown Ithaca, and he was just constantly barking out the window and on alert, on high alert at all times. Um, so anxiety was really the reason that I wanted to approach uh, CBD with my dog. My friend Justin's here commenting. He was crazy. He remembers back in the day when I first got him. Um, and so I started getting, when I experienced the benefits of CBD, because I struggle with anxiety, I figured, why not my dog? And I had heard that others had given their dog CBD as well, and it had helped with that. So um, I began giving Zeke uh, CBD oil about three years ago, and he takes it every day um, to reduce his anxiety. What I didn't realize was that it would also affect other things um, and improve other things in him. For example, he had large lipomas, which are large fatty tumors that are non-cancerous. Um, and also as he's aging, he's had joint pain. Um, and I was actually really shocked that after about six months, six to eight months of giving him CBD, his lipomas dramatically shrunk. Um, about They had about 30% reduction in size, um, which was a side effect I was not um, expecting, I guess a, a positive side effect. Um, and as he ages, you know, he definitely becomes more grumbly and not as active. Um, so he has joint pain. And so I give him CBD to help him with his joint pain. Um, I give Zeke about 40 milligrams of CBD a day. Um, that's also what I take. We're actually similar in size. Um, he's a 75 pound golden doodle. So I have personally um, really experienced the benefits of CBD with my dog. Um, and so I just wanted to share that story. It looks like a lot of you, Scott and Lynn and Debbie on here all have um, pets who struggle with uh, anxiety. And I see hearing loss, um, fear of trucks, loud noises. Yes, that's a great one. Loud noises is something we struggle with so much. Uh, this 4th of July was the worst 4th of July ever. Uh, in downtown Ithaca, everyone was setting off fireworks everywhere. And Zeke, at the sound of a firework, even if it's miles away, his whole body, he starts trembling. Um, very, very scared. Also, any kind of gunshots, anything like that. So 4th of July is a tough time in our house. And Zeke gets extra. Extra, extra doses of CBD around the 4th of July. Uh, usually I double his dose, maybe even more. Um, I do monitor him and stay with him on the 4th of July because he is so afraid of the fireworks. Um, but basically what I do is I keep, I keep our treats on my nightstand because as those um, fireworks are going off throughout the evening, as we're sleeping, he's coming over to my side of the bed shaking and, and, and uh, trembling. Um, so I give him treats throughout the night and I actually visibly see him stop shaking within minutes of administering uh, CBD treats. Um, so definitely great for those moments, um, fireworks and loud noises, you can increase the dose a bit to really, really, um, I mean, it kind of sedates them, um, which is helpful in those moments. So why does CBD work in dogs? It's the same reason that CBD works in humans. We all have an endocannabinoid system and our endocannabinoid system is made up of CD1 and CB2 receptors. These are receptors through the body that respond to cannabinoids um, and they are found throughout the body in our brain, lungs, vascular system, muscles, gastrointestinal tract, reproductive organs, spleen, bones, skin, and in parts of the brain. So it's really throughout the whole body. And why haven't we heard of this before? Why weren't we taught this in our health classes? Why was it never discussed with us by our doctors? Well, the endocannabinoid system was really recently discovered just in the 90s. So it's very new and we're still learning a lot about it. Um, we all have endocannabinoid systems. It's often called the ECS. Um, and it's made, made up of a series of cannabinoid receptors embedded all over our bodies, including in our brains, our organs, our connective tissues, immune cells, and more. 
Um, cannabis, like hemp, produces phytocannabinoids, which are cannabinoids that come from plants um, that can stimulate our endocannabinoid systems receptors. Um, so this means that if you have a pet, um, they might have an endocannabinoid deficiency. And basically you can think of that similar to a vitamin deficiency, like being um, vitamin C deficient. And so you can use CBD as a cannabinoid supplement uh, to help with that deficiency. I see Carrie, you're asking for his daily dose. Do you give it once a day or spread it throughout the day? Um, I usually give Zeke his dose at breakfast uh, because that's really when I remember to do it. So usually 40 milligrams at feeding and we can talk about that a little bit more. Um, Scott said he was under impression I should give when in anxious situations, should I give every day? I would say that depends on your pet. Zeke is a very anxious dog. He is anxious every single day um, and in general just needs to calm down a bit. So I do give it to him every single day. But if your dog is normally uh, pretty calm and just gets anxious in certain situations, you could just give it to them situationally. But I find that it, if I keep it, giving it to him every day, he tends to be calmer even on the days where he has um, like extra triggers. Um, how do you give dog oil? I will go over that. How soon would I need to give Izzy CBD before taking her for a walk? Debbie asked. I would say um, about 30 minutes before uh, your dog is going to have uh, a traumatic, no, uh, anxiety provoking experience um, that you could um, give them the CBD. So what is the difference between pet and human CBD? Um, with head and heel, absolutely nothing. They're actually the same exact formula, the same exact quality organic ingredients. Um, and it's really that they're just in cuter packaging. Now, why did we do this? Well, because the stores, the pet stores, uh, you know, we're trying to get into PetSmart and little natural pet health food stores. They really wanted something that had pet packaging. So we created the pet packaging for them, but we also created it to make it a little bit more clear about which size dog um, should take which size oil. So um, here you can see our human CBD, our 300 milligram is the same as our small dog. Our 600 milligram is the same as our medium dog and our 1200 milligram is the same as our large dog. Um, so if you're running low on your pet oil or your human oil, these are interchangeable. They are the same exact product, just with a different label on them. Um, I think that a lot of companies, when they're doing pet oils, sometimes they'll add fish oil or they'll add bake, like bacon flavoring or something to make it um, more for the pet. But we found that we really don't have, uh, our pets don't mind the flavor of the oil. And we wanted to really keep it simple with two natural organic ingredients. So that's why we kept it at this. The other reason that people sometimes do pet packaging is they like to charge a premium. And, you know, we all love to take care of our pets sometimes better than ourselves. So a lot of companies will give you a surcharge just to have that pet packaging. Just to let you know, all of our pet package, our pet package products are the exact same price as our human package products. So you're getting the same thing for the same amount of money. Susan, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for making it. Um, for a super large dog, would it be easier for me to use a human bottle? Um, Megan, 150 pounds, that is a huge dog. You, um, you could do the 2,400 for that size dog. So you could do um, that. We, we have not made an extra large dog size or you could do two drop, droppers of our large dog. Um, so um, Susan's asking, my dog is diabetic, has thyroid issues. Would she be okay to take it? I will definitely discuss later how to approach um, these questions with your veterinarian. Um, so CBD is most commonly used to help dogs with separation anxiety, anxiety from fireworks, um, pain from arthritis and seizures. Um, and I wanted to share some of the stories of our real customers and real pets with you. Winner, I got Megan Wright. 
as our first winner. So Megan, uh, you get two of our pet treats and some uh, pet oil tonight. So congrats. Um, awesome. Keep those comments coming, guys. I love seeing them come in. All righty, so I just wanted to talk through some of these pets. Uh, these are stories that have been shared in this group um, and we have tons of positive reviews and pet stories are just my favorite to hear. So uh, this is Rose and Rose's owners used uh, our CBD as a post-surgery recovery. Rose is a year and a half and she tore her ACL. Uh, she was told that they needed to lay low, uh, which of course for a puppy was super challenging. So the owner started giving Rose uh, pet CBD each morning and night on her food um, and treats occasionally as well. And they say that it was instrumental in keeping her a bit less active. Uh, she eventually had ACL surgery and they continued to use uh, CBD regularly throughout her recovery for the same reasons as before the surgery. Uh, they say that she loves the treats uh, and they're thankful for such a high quality product um, that it's been incredibly helpful for us throughout her injury and recovery. So this is a great example of a use of CBD um, as uh, to keep a puppy calm uh, and also to reduce pain post-surgery. So that's Rose. This is Rufio. Okay, so Rufio, this cutie um, has seizures and um, CBD, actually the only FDA approved use of CBD is in a drug called Epidiolex. Epidiolex is a CBD based pharmaceutical drug that treats Dravet syndrome, which is a syndrome, a seizure syndrome in children. Um, so it is well known and it finally accepted by the FDA that um, CBD is a, a huge help in seizures. And so we're seeing not just in children, but in pets and dogs that CBD has helped dramatically decrease uh, the seizures frequency um, and um, the length of the seizure. So this is Rufio. He was having seizures every six to eight weeks until they started giving him CBD at each feeding. Um, his seizures are now months apart and last half the time that they did before he was taking CBD. Um, he is also on two other prescriptions to help get them under control, um, but they didn't really see a notice in his uh, seizures until CBD which was introduced, which is really interesting. Um, you know, they work very closely with their vet and I would always recommend this uh, to manage their pet's CBD. And their vet knows that they are giving the dog CBD and they know that they are uh, clearly that they're prescribing medication. So I think this one's really interesting because they're using both the medication and the CBD and they are able to give less of the medication, um, which often these pharmaceutical drugs um, in dogs have uh, negative side effects. So I think it's great to hear that um, they were able to reduce that, um, the, the amount of pharmaceuticals that they were giving to help Rufio with his seizures. This is Miller, another cutie pie golden retriever. Um, Miller is 13 years old, also suffering from seizures. Um, they have had a exper similar experience to Rufio that um, his seizures are happening much more rarely and are much smaller, which is so great to hear. And he's so cute. Um, and Rufio, Rufio, just like my dog, uh, this helps keep him calm during fireworks and thunderstorms. That's another one um, that Zeke is always really afraid during. So. Um, uh, great to see this as well. Um, Debbie, I see you're asking, do you give the CBD treats in addition to the oil or in place of? Would I see better results with the oil? Um, <clears throat> I think you'll see results with both. It's definitely more affordable to do the oil on food than to do the treats. The treats are a bit more expensive per dose. Um, I haven't broken that down here, but I could do that later. So my recommendation would probably be to start with the oil. Um, the oil is easiest to administer with food. So at, at breakfast or dinner for the dog, if the dog needs additional support throughout the day, the treats are a really good supplement to that. But as far as everyday use goes, I would recommend the oil. 
Um, and the last example here is, um, I don't have a picture of this one. But this came in as a review. Um, this had helped a dog with arthritis. Um, the dog's body started to, uh, I think, attach attack itself and his uh, back hind legs were having issues fun functioning. They had to lift him off the floor with towels uh, when he couldn't get the strength for his legs to work. They were up to six pain pills a day to help him function just a little bit better before they decided to try the head and heel products. And now he's on two full droppers a day and only two pain pills. Uh, we gave our dog his life back when we were told uh, this road to no longer have him in our lives. This product is amazing and my husband and I are truly grateful. So here's another example of somebody using CBD along with a medication recommended by a vet in a case of arthritis and seeing great results. Again, they got to reduce the amount of pharmaceutical medication that the dog was taking. Um, NSAIDs and painkillers and dogs can have the same negative effects they have on us humans. Um, they can impact the liver negatively. So I think it's great to see um, being able to replace those. So research on pets and CBD is limited again, because hemp was just legalized in 2018 federally. So we don't have much, but there are some studies. This is one from Baylor College of Medicine that was done in September of 2020. So in this study, they took 20 dogs over four weeks and some were given CBD and some were not. Uh, the owners were not told which group their pet was in. Um, and the placebo group with the low CBD showed, uh, or the placebo group who had low or no CBD showed no improvement by the end of the month, but the group of dogs who took 20 to 50 milligrams saw significant improvement in their mobility and quality of life. So we love seeing research like this. We love to back um, what we're talking about with research. So this is just one example and we can't wait to see more of it. Winner, Susan Hill. Susan, you are our next winner. Um, great. Thanks, Susan, for being here and for commenting. Awesome. Two bags of treats and uh, uh, some CBD oil for you. If you're just joining us, uh, the way to win, we have one, uh, one winner left is to keep commenting and the last person who comments will win a prize. So we've got one winner left and a few more slides to go. Okay, how to introduce your dog to CBD. All right, this is not the way to do it. <laughs> I was trying to do a photo shoot with Zeke. You can tell he is not happy in this picture. Do not squeeze CBD directly into your dog's mouth. It will not be easy. I, at least for my dog, it was not. I would not recommend doing it this way. Um, so better way to do it is to drop the uh, a dropper of oil onto the dog's food, either with uh, breakfast or with dinner. Um, and you should really start with a low dose. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about figuring out the best dose for your dog add it to their food at the time of feeding. And then I do recommend monitoring your pet's behavior for the first three hours um, during the first week of dosing, just so you can observe them and see how they're reacting to it. Uh, you can also give your dog treats throughout the day. Our dog treats have five milligrams of CBD per treat. They're grain free and have natural ingredients. Uh, we have a peanut butter flavor and a bacon and cheddar flavor. And uh, we actually just found out that our treats are baked using solar power. So the uh, place that makes our dog treats has three and a half acres of solar panels that they recently installed that power their whole plant. And I just think that's so cool because we're all about organic and sustainable farming. Uh, and to hear that is just amazing. So these are uh, grain-free and natural ingredient pet treats with a head and heel organic CBD added to them. And they have five milligrams per treat. And you can buy these online. They're $20 per bag for 30 treats. Um, or you can buy a bundle. You can buy them together and get five bucks off and get them for 35 for two. Winner, Lisa. Lisa, I don't know how to say your last name. Lisa Robel, you are our final winners. Thank you everyone for participating in that so far.
All right, we're gonna hop into dosing now. All right, so dosing, again, like every dog is different. Every human is different. Our endocannabinoid systems respond differently to CBD. So it's a lot of trial and error, but here is what we have found works best. So you basically, there's an equation to figuring out the therapeutic dose for your dogs. You take the pet's weight, divide it by two, and then that is the therapeutic dose. So for example, if you have a 60 pound dog, you divide it by two, the therapeutic dose for that dog is 30 milligrams of CBD per day. Okay, I would say that is kind of the top level dose, um, unless you're in like an extreme situation like fire, or Fourth of July fireworks, in which case you could go higher. But when you're just starting out, I would half that again. So the starting dose would be 15 milligrams of CBD. Uh, I would administer 15 milligrams for a week. And if you were not realizing the results that you wanted, you could hop up um, by, by 15 milligrams. You could uh, double it or you could go more slowly. You could go from 15 to 20 to 25 to 30 um, <clears throat> and slowly increase the dose to see where is right. Because it's all about finding the lowest dose that works the best. Um, five milligrams probably will not affect your 165 pound dog. Um, so the treats might not be the most effective way to dose them. But one of the things that you can do is actually apply CBD to an existing treat. So if your dog has treats or has a bone that they like, you can literally just take the oil and squeeze it onto the treat. Ooh, and let it soak in and then you'll have a CBD dog bone and that's a really easy way to administer it to them as well. So if the five milligrams treats aren't um, strong enough for your bigger animals, you can always kind of make your own CBD dog treats by just adding CBD to an existing treat and maybe one day we'll come out with a stronger dose. So what are the side effects? What can we look for um, in a dog? What's gonna happen if we overdose our dog on CBD? I haven't heard any terror stories or anything going really bad uh, with a dog on CBD. Um, so the things that we have found um, is that they could have dry mouth. So you might notice that they have increase in thirst. They could have lowered blood pressure. Um, as, they could have a feeling of lightheadedness potentially. Obviously we wouldn't really know that looking at our dog. I think the biggest um, indicator is drowsiness. When I give my dog too much CBD, he is a lump on the couch for the entire day. He will not move. So um, that's really what you're looking for is like, you don't want the dog to, to lose their their energy and their um, personality. You want them to still be upbeat and still be active, just be calmer. So we're not looking to fully sedate them. So if your dog um, is usually pretty active and you give them too much CBD, they might be a lump on the couch or in their bed for uh, a few hours. And so that might be uh, something that signals to you that you took, that they maybe took a little bit too much um, and you can back off on the dose. So, oops. Discussing CBD with your vet, like why aren't vets talking about this? Why aren't they recommending this? It is actually illegal for vets in New York state to recommend CBD uh, because CBD has not been approved by the FDA, um, hasn't been approved by the Veterinary Association. Uh, veterinarians in New York are not allowed to recommend or bring up, suggest the use of CBD in your pet. Now that doesn't mean that you cannot ask them about it. If you go to your vet and you are interested in using CBD and you wanna ask questions, you can ask your vet. And if you bring it up, if you ask your vet about it, they can legally discuss it with you. Now, not all vets are super familiar with CBD because it is so new to this scene, um, but hopefully they'll have some insight for you or we'll be able to do some research into exactly what you're asking them. Um, this is just an article that actually Michigan passed a law recently, just in January of 2021, that allows veterinarians now to discuss marijuana and CBD with their pet owners. So um, maybe we'll see this in New York, um, or maybe the laws will change federally. But in the meantime, 
um, definitely ask your vet about CBD. I am curious if any of you go to vets currently that are pro CBD or are CBD educated, if you could share that with the group, it's knowledge we would love to have. We were looking for a vet to come on tonight and share stories with us, but um, weren't able to find any. Just, I think a lot of vets are nervous um, about liability of recommending CBD. Um, if they recommend CBD and something goes wrong, they could potentially lose their license. So they have to be really, really careful about it. What to look for in a quality CBD product. So of course, a huge indicator of uh, quality is that USDA organic logo. And just a pro tip, uh, it's not actually organic unless you see the USDA organic symbol. So, you know, I did a quick search on Google for organic dog CBD, and this is one of the options that came up. You can see here it says organic formula on it, but doesn't actually have an organic logo anywhere on the packaging. Do not fall for this. This product has not been tested. It has not been approved by a certifying agency. It is not organic. So you should absolutely, if you're looking for a product, look for the USDA organic logo on the front of the package. The other things to look for in a CBD oil for your pet is that it's full spectrum, meaning it has trace amounts of THC and other cannabinoids in it. Um, and that the company provides lab results for potency and purity. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys through a lab result um, over on our website in a second, just to show you what that looks like and show you what you should be looking for. Um, for those of you still hanging out and who did not win our contest, um, you can use the code WOOF for $5 off any of our pet products. Uh, the coupon code will expire on Sunday at midnight, so make sure you go and use it. Um, I'm going to head over to our website now, exit out of the presentation, and show you a lab result. Okay, so here are our lab results. You can find these under, uh, under learn and then lab results on our website. Um, <clears throat> if you are looking for a lot number, they are on the back of the bottles right at the bottom. They're also on um, the pet treats and they're also on the boxes. So you're just looking for this little white band here um, and you'll be looking for that lot number on, on, on here. Um, we actually haven't, um, you're not looking for like medium dog, small dog or large dog. You're really just looking for um, the lot number that corresponds to your product. So I'm just gonna click into one of these. Um, this is our 600 milligram oil, which as I mentioned is the equivalent to our uh, medium dog CBD. And this is what a lab result looks like. Um, okay, so. First, we have the cannabinoid content. Um, this is a 600 milligram oil. You can see the total CBD in this is actually at 700 milligrams. So it's a little bit high, but that is actually normal. We have a 10% um, <clears throat> Uh, margin of error allowed in, in our oils. So sometimes it will be higher, but we always guarantee potency. It's going to be at least as labeled or potentially a little bit higher. Um, so you can see total CBD content and you can also see total THC content. This is the THC in the entire bottle, which indicates that this is a full spectrum product. It has some THC in it. You're also looking, these are all tested for pesticides, residual solvents, heavy metals, and microbial impurities. So you can see that we were uh, passed for all of these different tests. So that's a great indicator. And then if you really wanna get into the nitty gritty, um, you can look at the cannabinoid compound test results. So you can see that this oil contains 23 milligrams per ml, so that's per dropper of CBD, as well as these other cannabinoids, which are really great to see because the more cannabinoids you have, the more of an entourage effect you have and the more efficacious the product. Um, so you can see other cannabinoids like CBC, CBG, CBDV. Uh, there are hundreds of cannabinoids 
cannabinoid compounds, and these are just some of them that are found in this oil, along with a trace amount of delta-9 THC, which is really important in unlocking the power of CBD. You'll also find on our test results, our terpene, terpene or terpenoid results. Terpenes are the smells and the flavors that actually have health benefits as well. Um, so if you really want to geek out on it, you could uh, look at the uh, different terpenoid results uh, and look into more about what those different terpen terpenes and terpenoids do. Um, so that's really fun. Um, and then these just go more into detail about what pesticides were tested um, and show that we passed on those. It's a very long pesticide analysis. They test for uh, a few dozen. Um, they're also testing for residual solvents. Residual solvents that we use ethanol, certified organic ethanol to extract our oil. And in our process, we uh, boil off that ethanol. Um, so this is just proof that the ethanol has been boiled off. Um, you can see that there's a little trace amounts of isopropyl alcohol. We use that for cleaning, but this is a, a passing grade and um, is non-toxic amount. Um, but you're, they're also testing for things like pentane and propane, um, ethyl acetate. These are uh, compounds that could be potentially dangerous and toxic if they were in a product. Now, our products, we don't use those, um, those solvents to extract, but some people do. So always good to have a clear lab result on, um, on residual solvents. Um, and then we're just testing for microbials, um, salmonella, um, stuff like that. So um, that got a passing grade. So, the, you know, the, the main thing here is really just make sure that you are, um, that you are looking for lab results, buying from a company that has lab results. Um, if the company is not certified organic, you really wanna make sure that the product isn't contaminated with pesticides. Um, and so that's why you would look for a lab result. And I know you guys are all here and you're all head and heel insiders and you all know um, what's up. And so you're buying from the best. So, so um, you just we just need you guys to help kind of spread the word and help us get the word out about um, pets and CBD and the quality of head and heel products. Um, so that's the end of my presentation. I know that uh, comments have been pouring in. Um, I've been trying to track them all, but if anyone has any questions, I would love um, to answer some now. Um, Liz, if you saw any questions that came up, um, maybe you can post them or any of you who are watching. If you have any questions, please post them. Does CBD help with sensitive stomach and appetite? It's a good question. I don't know. Um, I know that we have had a lot of humans talk about CBD helping with irritable bowel syndrome, um, but I am not sure about if it is uh, good for sensitive stomach or appetite. I haven't looked into that one specifically. Um, best dosing schedule based on the needs and body. I think, again, it's dependent on the dog, just like it's dependent on the human. I like to give Zeke CBD in the morning because that's when I remember to do it. And I think he's anxious throughout the day. So I want to calm him for the day. So I give it to him in the day. But depending on what you're giving your dog CBD for, um, you can decide morning or night um, or even throughout the day. How can you tell if it's working? Are there specific signs it should be looking for? So again, depends on what you're giving them it for. If you're giving it to them for seizures, clearly you're looking for a decrease in seizures, a decrease in frequency and a decrease in length in seizures. If you're giving to them for arthritis, you're looking for a decrease in pain, which might um, show up as increased mobility, a, a happier dog, a more active dog, a dog that is more willing to go for longer walks or hikes or is running now that uh, when it wasn't before. Um, so that would be something to look for for joint pain. With anxiety, I was looking for a decrease in barking. Um, and so that 
definitely helped with his, um, just like his reactiveness. And then in extreme situations like the fireworks and uh, thunderstorms, I'm looking to have his body stop trembling, visibly stop shaking. Um, and that one is like, that was when I really knew it worked because it was almost instant that I saw that, that change in him. So those are some things that you can look for, um, some signs that your, uh, the CBD is actually working for your pet. Um, can it be heated? I usually heat up my dog's dinner. I probably wouldn't put it in to heat it up because CBD, um, can cook off. So I would probably put it on the food after it had been heated up. Um, Susan, you said that I, I see you have some questions about like the human products. Um, you would take all three, the CBD, the CBN, the CBG, it's too much. Um, so our CBN oil is a combination of our full spectrum CBD and our full spec and our CBN. So you could potentially um, reduce, you could stop taking your CBD oil and just replace that with the CBN oil and then just take CBN and CBG. Um, if you wanted to. There's 10 milligrams of CBD per dropper in the CBN oil. So depending on how much you were taking, it could replace that. All right, guys, any more questions? I have a bit of a fun story about head and heel and how we got started. Um, that just came to mind because it actually had to do with a dog. Um, so actually one of our friends, dogs, a three-legged uh, bull terrier um, had to go in for surgery. And after the surgery, the dog was really not recovering well. The, its hair wasn't growing back and the vet really gave him about two weeks. Um, until the dog potentially passed away. Um, and he was really out of options and didn't know what to do. And we said, you know, you might as well try to give him some CBD and, and help, you know, at least make him a little bit more comfortable towards the end of his life. Um, and he started giving the dog CBD and the dog's hair grew back and the dog got really like started acting almost like a puppy again um, and ended up living for a few more months. Um, and that friend actually ended up giving us our first investment. Uh, he showed up at our farm with a big check and that check is how we started Head and Heal. So uh, that gave us real confidence to move forward. And it's so, ex you know, I love dogs. I've always been a huge dog lover. So it means so much to me that like we are changing dogs' lives and improving dogs' lives and dogs make our lives better. So it just is, it's the best part of this job is the pet stories. So if you guys do use CBD with your dogs, I would love to hear if you have success stories with them. Um, all right, guys, don't forget the coupon code WOOF, W-O-O-F, for $5 off if you didn't win our, um, our giveaway tonight. Thank you, everyone who participated. Congratulations to our winner. Um, Liz is going to follow up with the three of you to get your address and also uh, understand which uh, dog CBD oil is right for your pet. And uh, I hope you all have a great evening. It was so nice to see you all tonight and look forward to continuing the conversation uh, about and hear about all your successes with your pets and CBD. All right, guys, have a good night.